What's up peeps? Welcome back to another episode of PA Trout Films. I'm Brandon. Uh, just a little bit of bonus footage here. Um, it is actually uh, the 24th of December. Um, so it is obviously, you know, Merry Christmas Eve here. Uh, I'm not actually sure if I'm going to be getting this footage out uh, before Christmas or after Christmas. So if that's the case, obviously if it's before Christmas, Merry Christmas. Uh, if it's after Christmas, obviously I wish you guys a Happy New Year. Um, just going to be fishing down here at the 222 bridge. Uh, looks like it is. You know, there are a bunch of cars here already. I did get out much later than I was expecting. I'm actually, it's almost 11 o'clock right now. Um, I was up a little bit late last night on uh, video chat with all some with some friends and everything, you know, kind of drinking and just, you know, kind of celebrating the upcoming holiday, uh, you know, just kind of normally get the chance to at least get to see them. But unfortunately, with COVID, you know, we're just trying to be safe and did like a trivia night, you know, on Zoom. Uh, so I had a great time doing that, um, but wanted to get out, had maybe like two hours to kill here to go hit the creek for a little bit. Uh, my wife is off work today, so I definitely want to go home and spend some time with her and kind of finish up on some, you know, responsibilities that we have to get done before the Christmas holiday. Uh, but wanted to try to maybe create a video for you guys here. Like I said, not sure if I'm going to get it out before Christmas or after Christmas. Depends on just what my um, editing schedule is going to look like, you know, with everything we still have to do here uh, with the upcoming holiday. But regardless, I wanted to bring you along. Um, hopefully we can catch some fish and we'll go from there. So as soon as I get down to the creek and get you on the chest, uh, I'll bring you back. All right, guys. See you soon. All right, peeps. Uh, I'm actually going to start upstream just a tiny little bit from... 222 bridge. Like I said, I just want to fish an area where I know there's fish. Um, just so it's an easy access point as well for myself. That way I'm not walking all over the place just to uh, go fishing today. Um, you know, that way it makes my life easier just when I want to get back to the car later. So I'm just going to tell you what I'm using here while I'm trying to get my line all figured out. Um, obviously, New Zealand indicator. And gonna be starting off with the squirmy wormy again um, you know with the just being the winter time and the fact that the water is so blown out right now with all the um, all the mud from the, the snow melt I just figured a squirmy wormy would be a good choice and then I have a drop fly off of that of a, a zebra minge so I figured we'll see if we can get any action done with this at all and just start uh, fill you in on stream conditions because I just looked them up before I came out. It is currently they're running 220 CFS out of Blue Marsh, and um, down by Red Bridge it was red at uh, 270, I believe. So you know, pretty good flows right now, in my opinion. We did get a little bit of rain. We have um, forecasted rain for all day today here, which I'm surprised it hasn't started raining yet. Um, but I figured I'd try to get out for maybe a few hours before the rain really starts. And go from there. But yeah, just wanted to fill you in on the stream conditions. Like I said, Merry Christmas to everybody or Happy New Year. Not exactly sure when I'm putting this video out. But uh, like I said, just always love to spread the cheer, man. That's what it's all about. Now let's just catch some fish and it'll be even better. So I know I technically already put out my Christmas video, but if I can catch a fish here, I figured this would just be some bonus footage, honestly. Which I would be very okay with. All right, guys. Well, as soon as I hook up to a fish, I will bring you back. I will do my best to try to get the hook set, obviously. I have been working on that with these new camera settings, so bear with me. I think I got it working now, but who knows. But, uh, all right, guys. Bear with me. I'll bring you back.
Got a fishy. Indicator barely went under. This is why I don't like using these airlock indicators, but. My, uh. Woo! Stay tight. Yeah, my, um. New Zealand strike indicator, the rubber broke, and I didn't feel like putting a new one on, so I just put an airlock indicator on, but. Wow, someone's really unhappy. Oh, came off. Oh well. That's annoying. Part of the game, long distance release. Did he break my fly off? No. Oh well, like I said, long distance release. That's what happens. That was a decent fish, but. Oh well. I can't tell if he was on my. Actually, I'm running right now. Uh, my top fly is an egg pattern, bottom pattern is a. or bottom fly is a squirmy wormy. And, uh,. I think he took the squirmy wormy, but I'm not 100% sure. It was hard to tell. I don't know. Oh well. Could have muscled him in. It's just frustrating because I've already hooked him to two fish. That's my third one, and now he was a full on. Like, actually, at least I got to fight him, but the other two I hooked on, and I saw him flash up to the surface, and I realized they weren't even hooked. So. Uh. It's gonna be one of those days, I have a feeling. I'm gonna be heading out here soon anyways, just because uh, I wanna go, it's Christmas Eve obviously, so I wanna go spend time with my wife. But, I figured I'd at least try for a couple fish here. Alright guys, I'll bring you back if I uh, get another hook up here, we'll see. Yay! How many hook sets am I gonna freaking miss? I don't know if you guys saw that, but I just got another nice hook set on a fish on the downstream. And of course, didn't get a good hook set and saw them come to the surface flashing. Clearly they're taking my flies. I just don't know what they're taking for one. And I have to literally get the most perfect presentation for them to actually take it right now. I literally cannot touch a mend on it. I have to get the perfect drift before I get it to them. There we go. A little acrobat here, trying to keep me tight. Stay down, buddy. Ay, ay, ay. A little guy, but all right, taking my squirmy this time. Wow, a nice brown. Come on, <sighs> nice wild brown there, guys. There we go. And if you can see, he took that squirmy wormy right in the corner of the mouth there. Unfortunately, I forgot to pinch the barb on this, so it is not a barbless hook. All right, buddy, hold on. Wow, he is beautiful. All right, 
stick with him. He's got this beautiful, uh, um, that beautiful blue mark right behind his eyes. So I love that. They're beautiful when they're like that. Guys, let me show you him and we'll get him out of here. Nice, beautiful, beautiful brown. Oh my gosh, look at those silvers. Beautiful, you know, uh, reds there. Has that beautiful blue mark back behind the gills right there. Look at him. All right, back to the depths. Gave him a kiss considering the fact that it's been a struggle bus for me today, so. All right, guys, well, uh, let's maybe try to get one more. And then if I can't get one more, I'm gonna head home. Be back soon. All right, peeps, I just wanted to thank you for watching today's video. Um, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a shorter one. <laughs> I actually only ended up catching that one wild brown and at least putting it in my hands, let's put it that way. Um, as you saw, I, I did hook into that other fish. I think it was just a rainbow based on the way that it was flashing around. I think I saw, you know, the colors of the rainbow. Um, <laughs> the colors of the rainbow. Um, yeah, I saw, I think I saw, you know, the color ring of the rainbow. Um, but obviously right at the end there, uh, obviously spit my hook. So, you know, LDR, you know, long distance release, I guess, I guess we can deal with that. Obviously, at least I was able to fight the fish. That's all that matters. Um, a little bit of a frustrating day. I did hook into a couple other fish and just could not get them to just hook up. I mean, you'd, you'd think I'm using like rubber hooks or something like that. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, like I said, it's definitely gonna be a short one. Just appreciate you guys taking the time to watch today's video. A little bit of a cloudy day. Started to kind of rain periodically here and there and which I don't mind the rain obviously at all, but uh, I was starting to get a little bit cold with like I said, the leak in my waders and my feet were starting to get cold. So, uh, being that my wife's off work, just figured it was, you know, time to call it for the day and, and head home and go spend the rest of the day with her, get ready for, uh, the Christmas holiday here. So anyways, you know, thanks for taking time to watch today's video and, um, you know, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Obviously, you know, the more you guys like it, um, the more the YouTube algorithm is able to get it out to other people to view. So I appreciate, you know, any likes, comments that you guys do make. Um, and obviously subscribe for uh, more awesome content here in the future. Uh, definitely have, feeling, have a feeling things are gonna get better, you know, once I'm able to kind of start putting my other GoPro out as a second vantage point for you guys to, you know, kind of see um, me casting, showing fish, et cetera, et cetera. So like I said, that'll be something that to look forward to here in the future. But all right, guys, Merry Christmas, happy holidays to everyone. And uh, hope you guys all have a, a great rest of the com upcoming week here. So all right, guys, I'll uh, see you on the next one. Peace.